Our next speaker in the session is Mr. Richi Mittal. He is Managing Director, Overdrive Engineering Private Limited, dealing in energy efficient designs, IAQ and geothermal for energy audit green building. Mr. Richi, ME in Thermal has four decades of experience in the AC industry and is guest lecturer in engineering colleges, including IIT Delhi, engaged in various capacities. He was national past president of ISHRI, director and regional chair at ASHRI, past member board of director AIQ Association USA and founder member, international ground source heat pump association India chapter IGSHPA and was technical advisor Griha and Tel. Today, Mr. Ritchie will walk us through know about oxygen in fresh air. So, delegates, let's welcome Mr. Ritchie. Thank you, Trishna, and uh, thank you, Thermal Comfort, for giving us an opportunity to speak on your platform. So, I have a small presentation, and uh, so, so I think uh, we, we have been talking all about air quality. You know, only one thing which we miss is oxygen, and I think. In the Delta way, we only talked about oxygen. So just going to quickly run over through the oxygen. You know, oxygen plays a very vital role. We, we talked about CO2 levels. Now, what is CO2 level? It is that we absorb oxygen and we give away CO2 level. Just few facts about oxygen. It's not being talked, unfortunately, very much in our air quality circuit, but it plays a very, very vital role. I'm sure all of you know, and uh, again, I'm mentioning that in Delta time, we realize how important is oxygen for our body. So, you know, human is based on oxygen, which is 24% is in the atmosphere, out of which 78 is nitrogen and 1% is other gases. And then, you know, 21, 79 and 21 is the combination. 79 is ox nitrogen and 21 is oxygen. However, due to the pollution level that we have, this oxygen level from 21 has gone down to 18% in few cities. I don't want to name the name of the cities, but there are research which I'm sure all of you would have read in the newspaper or anywhere that uh, shows that uh, approximately nine years of our life in Delhi is reduced. And it's a, it's a fact. There are numbers there with scientific reason behind that. And all that is pollution and oxygen. Oxygen plays a very vital role. You see, we, we know that human brain uses maximum oxygen of all organs. So our brain goes average of seven years and pregnant mother needs 20% or more oxygen. But unfortunately in India, we do not have in most of the areas that kind of percentage of oxygen, which is a very alarming situation. We need to understand how, how this happen and everything correlates to oxygen. So just to another few slides on, uh, you know, just to make you why people don't talk about it, oxygen deficiency plays a vital role. You know, in air conditioned area, what we do is we are sitting in an area, we are we are absorbing oxygen, but we are releasing CO2. So, you know, CO2, CO2 is one parameter which we measure and which gives us an idea how much outdoor air we have to bring in. What is the importance of bringing the outdoor air? Oxygen is the importance of bringing. We don't talk about it, unfortunately, but why do we need outdoor air? We need outdoor air to increase the level of oxygen in the breathing zone. And that is how we correlate CO2. We, we say that CO2 level should be minimal. And that is the reason behind that. You know, then another report which shows that uh, per person tree density in India is only 28. And in Delhi and Anzar, it is 0.33 per person compared to Canada, which is approximately 7,000. So what, where do we get oxygen from? You know, we have to understand. We get it from plants. And where do we use it? We use it everywhere. We are using it as a human being. Our automobiles are using, I'll show you a slide, where you will see how much uh, air this, you know, one liter of petrol uses 10,000 liters of oxygen, air. So please understand how, how important it is to, uh, of oxygen. So just to give an idea about, you know, we breathe 96 liters and, you know, we drink water also 12 liters, but 96 liters of air we breathe per day, we breathe 2300 per year, we breathe 8.843 lakhs. Average life of 73, we breathe 63 million oxygen that we need. And just to give you an idea, these numbers, I don't want to repeat that, you know, if you're in a zone where oxygen levels are low, 17 or 18 percent, then there will be deficit of oxygen and that is another big challenge. We, we need to work on this. There are solutions to this. We will talk about it quickly on this. So, you know, there's one slide which is very interesting is the breathing is a process of moving air into, into and out of our lungs to facilitate gas exchange internal level, mostly by bringing oxygen and flushing out carbon dioxide, as I mentioned. This is important slide. So this is uh, just to give you an idea about outdoor composition that, you know, 78% is nitrogen, which is a non-reactive gas, so it will remain 78 and 
that 21 percent gas this is 18 percent become oxygen and then you have polluted air now indoor is another challenge if the co2 levels are high then obviously you know your oxygen levels will be low so this is another big challenge so we, we normally talk of co2 but you know ultimately it uh, correlates to oxygen in a big way so there are some problems which are identified i as i mentioned that uh, where where why oxygen is low in the cities trees produce oxygen but trees, are, as I'm sure all of us know that, you know, I gave you a number of trees in Delhi and CR, it is 0.3 per person. So, you know, there is no oxygen. Automobile, one liter of petrol diesel required 10,000 liters of air. So, which actually the burning is oxygen. Building also, everywhere, you know, we need to understand the gap between what is produced and what is consumed. We are not stop consuming. We cannot stop consuming, but we have to increase our produce. And how can we increase our produce? By planting more trees. But unfortunately, we, I mean, all over the India, at least I know India, Delhi, people are talking of trees. So you can understand the importance of uh, tree because we need oxygen. So it's a demand supply gap and, you know, demand is very, very high and supply is very less. And for that reason, you know, we, we have a very serious challenge of oxygen. There are companies who are giving oxygen into your rooms. There are, I've done a couple of projects where we have installed the oxygen generators into the room, not for the person, but for the room. And people who were sitting in the room, they were very happy. So it is coming down to that, you know, you bring in more amount of outdoor air into the room, you'll be more healthy. That is all from my side. I just wanted to talk a little bit about oxygen. I know time is short, but this is what I could share a little bit about oxygen. So guys, we have to talk about oxygen in a bigger way. Yes, CO2 is a monitoring device and CO2 gives us an idea, but yes, oxygen is a very important part of our life.